Okay, welcome back. IGCSC um, Maths last year, 2023. Question 19 on vectors. Always get asked questions on vectors. Um, OMA, ONB, MPB, and NPI are straight lines. M is the midpoint of OA. ON to NB is equal to 1 to 5. OM is equal to A. ON equals B. Find in terms of A and B the vector AN. Well, the vector AN... Uh, let's just write that down. A N is um, this here. So we're going to go from A to M. Now, M is the midpoint. That means this M A or A M is also A. So to go from A to M, we're going to go minus A minus A plus B. So the vector A N is a simple one. It's minus 2A plus B. And we'll just write that here for one mark, minus 2a plus b. Um, that was easy enough for one mark. Use a vector method, part b. Use a vector method to find the ratio ap to an. Now, this is a little bit more tricky. And, of course, it's going to be tricky because it's um, uh, five marks for that question. So... Uh, Right, now we need to find what AP, I need to leave the diagram because we're going to, of course, for this part, use lambda and mu. So where are we going to put it in? Well, AN, um, if I find AP, AP is some fraction of AN, and that fraction we're going to call lambda, uh, AN. Now, we've just found AN. And, of course, that will be lambda multiplied by minus 2a plus b. And, of course, if I expand, that's going to give me minus 2 lambda a plus lambda b. And uh, that will give me uh, ap. Oops, I better write it as a vector, ap. Now, I need to find mb. Uh, why? Because that will help me, because in these questions it's sensible to uh, get to a point where you're solving simultaneously or equating uh, and equating coefficients. So let's have a look. MB, MB, because using the information given, because it does say ON to NB is 1 to 5. So we've got six parts of our ratio. So M, OM is minus A, and OB is is our one part and nb is our five parts so that's going to give me uh, b plus this bit which will be 5b uh, so that's minus a plus 6b um, so that will be mb so that's going om plus on plus nb now um, i'm going to get AP, the vector AP, another way. Um, if we look at AP, um, go back to the diagram, AP is equal to um, minus, whoops, sorry, AP will be equal to, going another way, minus A, and that fraction of M to b will be mu. So if I use that, ap, whoops, sorry, ap will be equal to um, minus a, minus a plus mu, plus mu um, mb, which I've just found. Now, that will give us minus a plus mb, we got minus a plus 6b, so we got mu times minus a plus 6b. Um, so that will give us uh, minus a minus mu a minus mu times a plus... Uh, 6b or 6 mu b 
Um, now, uh, if I uh, yeah, let's let's simplify that even further. Um, we can take minus the negative minus one outside, or uh, so we'll end up with one minus mu times a. Oops, doesn't look like there. Apologies for the squiggly writing. Um, yeah, one minus mu times a, and of course plus six mu b, plus six mu b. Okay. Now, um, the sensible thing now is to equate the coefficients. What do I mean by that here? Well, we have uh, minus two lambda a, if I remember correctly here. We have minus two. It's probably sensible to change the color, and so that I can explain what I'm doing here. I've got minus two lambda a here, and I've got um, uh, I have um, we have again minus two lambda a, and we have minus one minus mu a, so minus 1 so let's write this down minus 1 minus mu a so let's equate that and then of course we have lambda b and use another color um, perhaps this one uh, lambda b and I have 6 mu b so um, Let's uh, equate these coefficients. So let's equate the coefficients. So right here, equating coefs coefficients, I have minus two lambda. I have is equal to minus one minus mu. So, oops, my pen is not working. Minus 2 lambda is equal to minus 1 minus 1 minus mu. And we want to solve for lambda. So, I also need to say, well, hold on. Uh, in the other coefficient, I have the other coefficients. I've got... Um, when I'm equating, that's when I'm equating a. When I'm equating b, I've got lambda b is equal to 6 mu b. So I've got uh, lambda is equal to 6 mu. So I also have lambda is equal to 6 mu. Now, if I just tidy that up, I've got and um, put it in terms of solve in terms of lambda. I have uh, lambda is equal to here. I will end up with um, one min one plus mu is equal to so two lambda minus one. So mu is equal to two lambda mu. If I change side, mu will be equal to two lambda minus whoops, two lambda minus one. Two lambda minus one. And yeah, that would be good. And then given that lambda equals six mu, given lambda is equal to six mu, substitute that in. Yeah. So I will end up with uh, lambda is equal to 6 times 2 lambda minus 1. So that, therefore, I can write lambda is equal to uh, 6 times mu. And mu, we know, is 2 lambda minus 1. If uh, that's the case, just working down, Um, expand so therefore lambda is equal to 12 lambda 
minus 6. And that is 12, not 72. Um, 12 lambda minus 6. And therefore we got uh, 6 will be equal to 12 lambda minus lambda. And we have 6 over 11 is equal to lambda. Well, if that's 6 over 11, that's the value of AP, isn't it? AP then, this bit will be 6 over 11. If AP is 6 over 11, then PN must be 5 over 11. Um, because, of course, it's got to add up to, to 1. So AP, AP we know is equal to 6 over 11. And therefore, we know that, as we said, as we stated, we know that uh, Pn, Pn, sorry, therefore Pn will be equal to 5 over 11. And it's asking you the ratio of Ap to Pn. Well, that will be 6 to 5. AP to PN, 6 to 5. And, oh, and that's for 4 marks. That's a lot of work for 4 marks. But that's how you do it.